A good friend of mine recently gave me this. I don't think he's a very good friend. Or is he? We have a bush. Little bush cylinder found in a car park. What could be wrong? Let's have a look. Yes, hello, my vacuum cleaner chums. Oh, how are you today? This little tiny little cylinder is what we have to look at today. But what is it? Well, we have quite a stuck onto the Bond floor tool. We'll have a look at that in a minute, but that's got a very nice wide base, big rubber squeegee at the back brushes up the front that actually looks quite nice to use whether it will be in practice or not who knows let's just see if I can take the take it off there we go always a little trick there put your foot on but obviously you do run the risk of snapping something there so we have it's a cheap cheap head I won't lie but it's not too bad we have a telescopic wand, which actually looks incredibly similar to the little wand that I got for the Hoover Galaxy. Although actually, now that I picked them up, the Hoover, the cheap eBay one, is a lot heavier than the Bush one. It's also longer and actually quite different. So yeah, very cheap wand. We could register our guarantee now. There we go, look, with Bush. 9 to open, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. And if my date reading is correct, because I read lots of dates like this at work, that could be August 2016. For this sticker, of course. So there's that. What else do we have? Well, we have a ratings plate. Let's see if there is a ratings plate. It is a... I'm not being... Really, VCS35B15K0D, 700 watts. Bush bag the cylinder clean. Obviously, Bush is Argos's own brand nowadays. When I was a kid, Bush were always quite a cheap, nasty brand, and things haven't changed now. now. I think part of the problem is going to be that and the bits you can see poking out because it is fully clogged up. I have already ascertained that, but I don't know if it works. Doesn't smell of burning. The outside is quite clean. So let's plug it in and see what happens. Well, oh, there's a little bit of suction. I wouldn't call it fab, and the release valve opened straight away. So we'll unpop the hose, which uses a push button connector, just like Hitachi used to use. Let's have a look at the filter, because it has a post motor filter. This will give us an idea. Really? Hang on. Ah, this will give us an idea of how bad it is and actually that's pretty clean this is black but there's nothing falling out of it so that's actually not a bad sign but you know and I know that if the motor runs absolutely fine and there is no suction is why I have Henry sat next to me. Let's get a bit closer, see what horrible, disgusting state this is in. Okay, here we go. So we should release the cyclone. Oof, well, the bin. It's not a cyclone, isn't it? Important! Do not exceed, in any case, the maximum fill line, which is there. <laughs> so that's not bad, is it? Please dial in TMTI helpline. Well, I can't quite be bothered to do that today. 
we know what this is like. That <laughs> is the pre-motor thing. Oh gosh. It's not actually too bad really, the whole thing's filthy but... <laughs> No automatic, well, no power control, just an on-off switch. Little cord rewind, which does work quite well. And a parking bracket at the back, but not on the base. So I'll put that out of the way, because that is not the problem. This is the problem. And if we open, oh my gosh. Wow. That is our issue. And there's, there's still so much in here. We're going to go straight for, I think, hopefully. Ah, there we go, look. Oh, gosh. Wow, it's all in there, look. Holy cow. Is this bit untwisted? It does. <laughs> oh, that we have some packets, what do we have some packets of? Some sort of sweets, I don't know, it stinks. Oh, there's a till receipt. Oh, they've been to Aldi's. Don't know, oh, they bought nappies from Aldi's in June 2018. Wow, so we'll put all this off. Oh, look, there's a shroud. Look, there's the little shroud. That's something. All right, this is horrible. So before we get onto the filter, got this little heavy here, still fresh from being used for DIY. He's still got the temporary hose end that I put on so he could be hooked up to a belt sander a bit easier. <laughs> Two for the price of one today because I think Heavy's full as well. No. Why are you clogging up? What are you doing? Come on. There's plenty of room in there. fine so I put these are these are why I love Hoover pit fit tools even just have hanging around because you can fit them straight to the end of a pneumatic hose I used to do the cars so we can give all of these two plastic bits a bit of a clean up <laughs> Perfect. I'm not washing it, I'll be honest. 
We're leaving it be, so it's a very simple eh, system. Very simple indeed. It does, however, need a little bit more cleaning. So we're just going to get a damp cloth, and we'll try and get rid of that disgustingness on the bin. Which is really just a case of spraying some spray, and hopefully giving it a bit of a wipe down. Really. Oh, this stuff is quite thick there. This is going to take a couple of goes to get... It's been damp, I think. Whether it's been sat in that car park that it was found in for a long time or it's been used to vacuum up damp, I don't quite know. So this might take a couple of goes. It's coming off a little bit there, look. But obviously, as you go around the side, it's still there. So let's take it... So what, let's do that to soak for a second. And we'll try and do something with this bit down here, which doesn't seem to be quite as caked on, although it's still not fab. Take the rubber seal out of there, but the top one is glued in. There we go, look. It hasn't got to be perfect. So I've already sold this. I sold another cheap vacuum actually that you haven't seen and won't because I decided that I couldn't be bothered. It wasn't worth doing anything with, so I, I sold it really cheaply. Actually, one of the, someone commented on it just after it sold, and I remembered I had this, so I said, Bear with me, and I'll see if it, you know, I didn't tell her to see if it works, so I said, I shall let her know when it's available. Hence why we're doing this today, because hopefully it can be gone later. And I can make 15... Oh, yeah, that does come out. There we go. Look. And I can make £15 out of a free vacuum cleaner, even one as horrible as this. Which is nice. Let's just put that down there. It's just a case of scraping as much crud as... It has, it, it's not going to be perfect. Yeah, we're not doing a Beko special refurb here. This is just to make it look a bit nicer, really. Oh, there you go. That's coming off a treat now. That's been slightly soaked. Come on, that's a little bit. Do the outside because that's not... Lovely, this top bit won't need much more than just a wipe down. God, this is such a horrible thing to do because it's all attached. It's all just flopping around at the bottom. Horrible thing. All right, let's spray straight onto the cloth, which is now going to do the wash. And we'll do this bottom seal. Because again, as we know, the bagless cleaners, the seals make all of the difference in how the thing performs. It needs its rubber seals to be absolutely spotless. Otherwise you get nowhere. So we'll run this around here, try not to snap it. We'll give this rubber seal on here a bit of a wipe down because again it needs to be utterly spotless for it to work. And it's very much not utterly spotless at the minute. This a good going over. It's quite an attractive little thing. Now it's purples starting to be able to come through. It's not. It's not horrible. Obviously, it would have been ever so cheap. I don't actually know where these are from. These would well, obviously from Argos. Don't know if it's still covered though. Probably not. It's probably one of those vacuum cleaners that even now is completely obsolete. There's no spares for it, even though it would have been just a couple of years old. There's a screw here. Ah, so that little bit there comes away. That's handy, look, because we could get that dirt out of there. Marvellous. There we go, look. The first wipe gets the bulk of it off and the second wipe just 
finishes it off, just polishes it up nicely. Ah, oh, that's better. I can get into the bits that I couldn't before. Beautiful. There we go, a bit of a wipe down. It'll dry in about five seconds flat. That is much, much better. We'll put this back in. It slots into its little slot down at the bottom, look. So we shall locate that. In fact, while that screws out, hoik that bit of crud from in there. Oof. I can't hold a screwdriver today, what's wrong with me? <laughs> And then finally we have the shroud. That's obviously where the dirt goes in because it's disgusting. So we'll have that all cleaned up. Now I think it's a combination of it's, I think it has picked up something damp, but then it's just been left full in probably a soaking wet environment for gosh knows how long there we are right <sighs> got to stick it back together now so this bottom seal just went on here like so so we'll try and Feed that back in. Oh, gosh, this is immensely fiddly. Oh, wait. There we go. Nearly. Ah! Sorry. It's so difficult. Ah, there we go. Then, oh, this seal stood a little bit damp, so. That pushes in there like that. It's already stretched a little bit. It's an annoying thing. Problem with rubber ring seals, if you pull them to clean them, they do stretch. I've had terrible issues before. Right, let's go try and get some of the remaining bits out. So this shroud fitted down here and then I think hopefully it'll... there you go, it only goes in one way and then that knocks into place so that is what that should look like and that can drop into there, I think that literally just dropped in then the filter can go on there and that came into, I think that just sits on there it sits in here. Then the whole thing closes. In fact, before we turn this on, we'll just give it a bit of a wipe down because it's very dusty. As these bagless things often are nice and expensive or bush cheap, they're all the same, really. There we go, get that in there. And for the first time in a long time, it has suction! Oh! Look, it's dirty, it's a hose! Oh, it's boiling! So, it's just pulled up all the fluff that was in the hose, but that's got some suction now. 
That's very good. Let us extend the wand and just give that. So you haven't, it hasn't got to be much, just a little damp cloth just to get the fingerprints off of it really. And that's already much better. This isn't going to come up great because ideally you need to sit there and scrub it like with it all apart. That's why the rebuild works so well. Whereas this will do to a point but isn't really the best way of doing it by a long stretch. But I'm not having this all apart now because it's not needed. It's a cheap £15 to me vacuum cleaner. It just wants prettying up a little bit. So whoever buys it doesn't feel they've been too ripped off. <sighs> Marvellous. <laughs> Since it's already just made itself dirty, we may as well give it a quick go as well. So we'll chuck Henry out today. Now what have we got? Well the hose already is very short. That's at its highest extension and it's one of those that does that when you put it around. It follows you around okay. One is far too short, I am still down the street. But you know, it's really alright. It's picking up the carpet very nicely. Very nicely indeed. Tell you what, since we've got to have it all apart again anyway, we won't stick a lot down because I want to actually test it picking up. You know, it's scattered sand rather than the big piles, which we all know it'll do. There we go. One pass. I was actually just about to say that's, that, that's quite quiet, but then I realised it, it's probably even quieter <laughs> with the post motor filter on. It's probably going to be significantly quieter with the post motor filter on. Let's just. I don't have a decibel meter. Yeah, that's a lot quieter. In fact, I'm talking almost normally to you now. But very good, and obviously all of our nice cyclone. Now full of sand, which we best get out, final polish up, and wrap this video up. Out of the way. So first off, no sand is on the filter at all, so that's promising. Here just has the dust, it's not actually too bad, it's all in there. <laughs> Sort of machine 
that's going to need lots of regular maintenance I, you would have to probably do this every time you emptied it in order to stop it from going basically like it was when we found it although that was a bit extreme just emptying it would be normal but the problem with these cheaper bagless machines is that they just cannot cope facts are the same as much as me and Mr Dyson may disagree on many, many things that he said. You cannot fault that they are the better of the cyclone action vacuums around. These are terrible. Probably a really old design, this. It's probably one that's been out of patent for 10 years from one of the competitors. It's probably even more basic than Vax shoes. Vax are terrible with their cyclones. Absolutely shocking, but there we go. They're all back together now, so let's get it done. I'll get it assembled. I wish we'll sum up this little video. Just been doing some research whilst the camera's paused, and I have found its oh wait, its successor is that the BK the B15KD. This is the. Oh, God. Ha. This is the 15K0D. So, whether how different this is, I do not know. But this is £39.99 at Argos.com. Let's see what the reviews say. It's had 2,336 reviews. My vacuum is easy to use and I find it does well. Good. Excellent value for money, yeah. Ex looking for smaller vacuum cleaner, yeah, I can see that. So, yeah, it's because I'm finding it quite hard at the minute to really fault this. I mean, it's, it's not good, don't get me wrong there, it is a horrible little thing. But, £40, if you registered the warranty, clean the filters out and you know, really well, probably almost out of every use, or every week of use anyway, plus it's from Argos. So the day it breaks, you can just take it straight to Argos, and they'll probably just give you something else there and then. Argos are very good at doing that. So yeah, I mean, it reminds me a little bit actually of the Amazon Basics. It's a much smaller version of that without the panel, the control panel. It's that sort of design, this is going to be a Chinese design, it will be made with lots of different people. This is obviously Argos buying in, putting the Bush name on it and flogging it out. And for free, I'm very, very impressed with this. It works very well. For 40 quid, it's probably not bad. Treat it, you know, disposable. Clean it out regularly after every use or so. It'll be okay. It'll do a purpose. But we have saved this from the, from the bin, saved it from certain death. It's now ready to go and have a life somewhere else. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this bush vacuum cleaner. I hope it's enjoyed being here with us today because if it wasn't, it would still be sat scared and alone in a car park. So thank you very much for watching and I shall see you soon. Bye bye.